Pindile Sitole Spong is your average 23-year-old. She loves dressing up, hanging out with her friends and dreaming of a bright future. What she wouldn't know just by looking at this beautiful and vibrant young woman is that she's HIV positive and has been all her life. Pindile only found out when she was 19 years old that she had contracted the virus at birth. I was a bit confused just because I didn't know where I'd gotten it from and I felt as if I'd been betrayed in a way because I'd never been the type of person who um, went around and slept with guys. And so in a way I was, you know, taken aback and kind of, you know, why me? About to start her first year at university, Pindile was daunted by how her status would affect this new chapter of her life. People are going to look at me weird, they're going to judge me, um, they're going to think I slept around. So it was, it was a mixture of emotions. The way the disease was portrayed to her in the media stripped her of any hope that she had had for the future. I read about HIV and AIDS and there were these images of these women who, I mean, most, 99% of the pictures were of these women who were dying and, you know, left much to be desired. They, they really did not look appealing at all. And so I felt like that's what I was supposed to be, you know, that's the person that the rest of the world saw me as. It wasn't an easy process, but Pindile began to fight back and refused to allow the disease to rob her of who she was. Surrounding herself with people who loved her, she began to accept that her HIV was there to stay and she had to continue with her life. That's my biggest thing. That's the biggest thing about HIV, is that once you have it, there's no going back, you know, there's no cure for it. And so you just have to accept it. Now Pindile dedicates her time to creating HIV AIDS and sexual health education and media campaigns. Not only does she focus her talks on the importance of prevention, but also that there is life beyond the disease. I'm, HIV positive. I'm still Pindi. You know, my status doesn't change who I am, doesn't change what I'm about. In most of the talks that I give, actually in all of them, I try to show people that you can live a healthy, healthy life even with HIV and that it's not the end and I think having lived with it for so long and being the person that I am is a testament to that that you can be HIV positive and still have a full and fulfilling life and you don't have to be owned by it and you can be whoever or whatever you want to be.